What is going on? It's Metacosis Perfect Scenarios, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue my anatomy playlist. Today we'll talk about anatomical planes, lines, and terms of position. This is a discussion in general anatomy. It's an introductory course. Now let's get started. This is my anatomy playlist. You'll find some doozies there. In the last video, we talked about the anatomical position. What is the difference between standing or upright position, the sitting position, the prone position, lying on my left side or left decupitus position, etc. Today we'll talk about planes and lines. The anatomical planes are mainly three. The coronal plane, aka frontal, the horizontal plane, the median plane, aka sagittal. Coronal plane, you cut me like this into a front half and a back half. There is also the horizontal plane. You cut me horizontally into an upper part and a lower part. Third, there is the median plane. Notice I said median with an N, not medial with an L. Median with an N is in the midline. You cut me like this in the midline, vertically. And now I'm divided into a right half and a left half. While cutting me like this, you also cut my brain. Sure, take one slice Turn it around so that you can look at it and the brain is gonna look like this. You're looking at the interior surface and you will see anterior median line, not plane, line and posterior median line. This is the frontmost line and this is the backmost line. The coronal plane or the frontal plane divides me into anterior part and posterior part. Anterior means front, posterior means back. Horizontal plane divides me into upper and lower. Upper is called superior, lower is called inferior in anatomical terms. Median or sagittal, you cut me like this in the midline vertically. And now I am right half and left half. Median versus medial, they are not the same. Median is in the midline. Medial is parallel to the median. Oh, now I get it. So I have right medial and left medial, but you only have one median. Synonyms. The median plane has another name, sagittal plane. Okay, how about medial? It's called the para, parallel, sagittal plane. Oh, now I get it. Anatomy lingo. Listen, my friend, anatomy is not just a science, it's a language. And for you to understand the language, you gotta understand the vocabulary. Front is called anterior, back is called posterior, upper is called superior, or rostral, or cranial, because it's near your cranium, which is your skull. Lower is called inferior, or caudal, because it's near your tail, so to speak. Let's talk about an embryo or a fetus. The embryo is usually in this position right here. Here's my feet. Wonderful. Okay, near the back of the embryo is called dorsal. Okay. How about the belly of the embryo? Well, the front side is called ventral. Another important point is the male copulatory organ, aka the penis. When you put the penis in the anatomical position, it's in the erect position. This is the dorsal surface of the penis, and this is the ventral surface of the penis. And this opening is called the urethra. What is medial versus lateral? Let's talk about that. I will give you two points. Here is point A, and here is point B. In relation to each other, point A is more medial compared to B, and point B is more lateral compared to A. So what does medial mean? Medial means closer to the midline. What does lateral mean? Far away from the midline. And of course, it's a comparative point compared to what? Next is proximal versus distal. We use this for limbs or extremities mainly. Let me give you two points. Here's point C at my hip and here's point D at my right foot. Which one is more proximal, aka closer to my trunk, to my core? C, of course. So C is more proximal, D is more distal, away from my core away from the trunk. Next is superficial versus deep. Superficial means on the outside, such as my skin. My skin is very superficial. But if you cut my skin and dig deeper, what would you find? Subcutaneous tissue under the skin. What else would you find under that? Muscles and then bones. So of course, bones are deeper than the skin and skin is more superficial than bones. Next is internal and external. This is especially important for cavities, like this bowl right here. On the outside, it's called the exterior surface or the external, and on the inside, you have the internal or interior surface. 
Hi, medical officer. Do I have a ball in my body? No, but you have a stomach, right? The stomach looks like that. It has an interior surface and an exterior surface, internal versus external. Also, your vessel. Don't forget that your vessel has a wall. So I can refer to the outside of your vessel, external, or to the lumen, internal. Why is this clinically relevant, medicosis? Because the sutures of your skull follow the same names as the planes in anatomy. This is called what? Coronal suture. How about this yellow one? Sagittal suture. Oh, sagittal because it follows the sagittal plane and coronal because it's in accordance with the coronal plane. You got it, my friend. Next, CT scans are usually shown, not always, in the horizontal plane. I cut you into two halves, upper and lower, and I'm looking at one half. Imagine that the patient is lying on his back, on the bed, and his feet is pointed towards your face. You are standing near the patient's feet, looking towards the patient's head. Therefore, this is anterior, means front, this is posterior, near the back of the patient. This is the right of the patient. This is the patient's left side. Therefore, what? In my chest, what's the most anterior bone? The sternum. How about posterior, your vertebral column? How about on the patient's right side? The patient's right lung. And the patient's left lung is on the opposite side. What's that here? The blue here, superior vena cava. What's that? Aortic arch. Ascending aorta and the arch and the descending aorta. And then what? This is your trachea and behind it is your esophagus your trachea is always open your esophagus is always closed unless you're eating and swallowing right now why is the trachea open because it has rings made of cartilage to keep her open at all times otherwise you will die from respiratory collapse last brain imaging there is a huge difference between cutting the brain in the sagittal section versus parasagittal section and if it's parasagittal is it right or left or is the brain in the coronal section or is it a horizontal section the next for the pros bayes theorem or theory it's about the pretest probability most doctors suck at statistics those who know some stuff are mostly misinformed for example when they talk about pretest probability they do not realize that they are using Bayes' theorem about the relationship between the prior pretest versus the posterior, what comes after. Example, two patients came to you. One of them has a clot, the other does not. The first person has the following risk factors. She's a 45-year-old lady, heavy smoker, taking oral contraceptive pills, has family history of heart attacks, and strokes, has history of recent major surgery, just came off a long flight from Sydney to New York, has a genetic disease of hypercoagulability. That's the first patient. The second patient is a young 21-year-old lady with no risk factors whatsoever. Both of them came to you complaining of leg pain. The question is, which one is more likely to have a clot in the leg? Oh, of course the first one. This is pretest probability. Based on the prior risk factor, you can suggest or predict a posterior, what comes later. This is Bayesian statistics, which is not the same as frequency-based statistics, such as median, mean, mode, and all of this garbage. The reason why you did not understand statistics is that your professor lumped together frequency-based statistics and Bayesian statistics, even though they are two different visions of the world. If you like this video, you will adore my renal physiology course on my website, medicosisperfectionaries.com. To be continued, please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionaries, where medicine makes perfect sense.